Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis. A little bit of a different location than normal, but nevertheless still the cryptocurrency that you've come to love. And I'm going to be diving straight into this and keeping it short and sweet, exactly the information that you need. Because I've actually got a, a plane to catch for a three hour trip to have a 15 minute meeting back on the same plane for three hours back. It's kind of crazy, but hey, the duties, right, got to be done. Uh, so. First of all, I apologize for the background noise, but I do hope that you can hear me okay here. And I'm gonna start off by saying, picking up where I left off my last video, which if you remember, I was in a short position on Bitcoin, looking for the daily below us. That daily in the end was actually front run, was never hit, and we started to increase in price. We reclaimed the important resistances that I had marked out and fit them as support. Thus, as a professional trader, I have to update my bias and say to myself, well, this target's no longer gonna be hit. Let's close out this short position. There's no need to hold it anymore and close out short I did and now currently hold zero no short positions on Bitcoin and I'm still in my long from the original value area low and yesterday uh, in a mini range that we had going on there was another long opportunity from the value area low that mini range um, so obviously the weekend was very sideways price action in a very small close range Last night, I done a Champions live stream where I recognized there was a high probability of further upside on the ES stock market. Recognizing the correlation with the stock market and how this can affect Bitcoin has also led us to believe the next levels will be coming into play on Bitcoin. And I just want to show you this tweet that I done because since then we have had a larger rise to the upside. I just want to show you this tweet. If you're not following on Twitter, make sure you're following, make sure you have that tick bell so you do not miss a notification as soon as I tweet. Because I'm going to share this with you. I hope that you can see this okay. But it was this tweet here where I said to you all, I am bullish on Bitcoin in no short trades locally. I'm in a long and looking for higher to my next level above $17,000. As you can see from this reply from this guy saying thank you uh, i trust you so hopefully we will get some more upside and upside we obviously got as we're going to now flip over to the chart that i have open this is why i love this laptop we got the little boom touch screen and now we have these levels that are going to be in play so i hope you can see this okay we're currently up and around this value area high which is actually at seventeen thousand. $260. Then if we get through this and flip it into support, I'm looking for this uh, region of this NPOC around 17,400. This 17,400 is a region, okay? I'm gonna flip this around because it makes it slightly easier. But then we have above us, uh, yeah, around 17,400 if we flip the value area high, which is currently at around 17,260 into support. Below us is our support of the day, which is the daily at $16,935, okay? Uh, for me, those are the levels of the day. What I will stress is these are regions, okay? So just the value area high, once again, 17,260, that higher NPC 17,400, and the lower daily, 16,935. They are viewed as zones, so don't look at them as an exact dollar, uh, but those are the next uh, two resistances and first support that I have to give you today. So I hope that that has been helpful. Uh, yeah, as I said, I got to get uh, to an airport. So uh, I'm going to wrap this one up fairly swiftly. I will say though, I am going to be, obviously I'll have Wi-Fi even on the plane. So for me, I'll be active, but it will be more so in the Discord. So if you want to follow me updates, get involved on that, you can get that. Uh, via the Discord, of course, or via chartchampions.com. But yeah, let me know, was it worth doing this quick update here in the time, or would have it been better if I had not done this update and just waited till uh, later tonight or tomorrow when I'm actually back uh, at my normal workspace in a more professional environment? Let me know in the comments down below, did you enjoy this, or would have it been better if I had just skipped this one out? I'm just going to say, I, uh, I've enjoyed doing it. I have lots of people watching me, and they're all learning a bit about Bitcoin and getting this analysis. So uh, thank you ever so much, everybody. <laughs> and uh, CC Paul, <laughs> I love you all. Thank you ever so much. Let's crush the charts. Oh, actually, I'll end by saying this. In before, in before the comment of somebody that says, hey, Daniel, you said you're, you're in a log. You said you closed your short from three days ago. How dare you close that short position? Your last video was you were in a short and you're looking for lower. And now three days later, you're saying you're in a log. Um, yeah, just in before that comment, if, if that is you thinking that comment right now, stop. Don't write the comment and think. Because if you are thinking that, I truly believe that you are a uneducated 
bad trader. It's very likely that you're losing money if you are angry that I was in a short in my last video and now I'm in a long. That would be uh, not, not being mean, but that's the trick. You are probably losing money because that is a very bad way of thinking when it comes to trading. We have to be open to possibilities. As you saw from my tweet before this move up, I did make it very clear that I was looking for higher and then higher we got after that tweet. So yeah, just remember at the end of the day, trading is a game of probabilities. We have to update our biases, flow with the charts, change with new data that comes in. So uh, yeah, just before and in before that comment of uh, somebody that undoubtedly will, will look to comment that. But, um, yeah, for everybody else, I hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed. Even for the one guy out of you all that's going to look to comment that, hopefully now you've understood the game of probabilities that we're in and you've enjoyed this video. So thank you ever so much, everybody. And uh, yeah, see you over in the Discord if you want more. Cheers.